Hello, and welcome to episode... Fuck, what episode is it? 23. 23. Oh, this is like Jim Carrey stuff, bro. Alright, uh, my name is Nick, it's Adventures in Arrow D, and we're having a good time. Um, I want to start off uh, having everybody introduce themselves, so we're going to start over here with Casey. And uh, introduce yourself, introduce your character, and tell us... Uh, What's your favorite color? Hi, I'm Casey. My character's name is Boggy. This is his first game. Hopefully he doesn't die. Um, favorite color is blue. Tight. Any particular reason? No. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love that. I love that for you. We're going to go down to Dave. <laughs> Dave, if you can introduce yourself, uh, describe your character, and tell us uh what kickstarter you just backed hi i'm dave i'm playing larpu the level six lizard folk barbarian he's a badass um and i just backed the awesome mini holder from borks memes you should check it out on kickstarter thousand dollar funding goal to get it off the ground and then at 20 grand they're going to be producing injection molded mini holders over the 3d printed ones so get out there and back that shit people you're gonna want to you're going to like the way it looks. <laughs> Next, we're going to go over to Dirk. Michael, introduce yourself, describe your character, and tell me uh, what it feels like in the desert on a cold night. Hi, my name is Michael, uh, the resident cowboy warlock, and a uh, desert night is pretty cold, especially when you're up in the mountains very much true we're gonna move over to christina christina introduce yourself describe your character and uh explain to us why druids are dope hi i'm christina my character is nephilabata or neffy um druids oh she's a uh forest gnome so she's tiny little thing who likes to ride around on people's shoulders and beat up people who are into animals. Um, druids are dope because they have a very special relationship and can interact with animals and nature in general, which uh, is everywhere all around us. So that gives them a really powerful advantage, I think, to some of the other classes. Hell you forgot yeah. about the mushrooms. Yeah, and then the mushrooms and all the... Yeah, mushrooms and, and specialty. Stat blocks. The spells. Mm. <laughs> We're going to move on to uh, B. B, if you could introduce yourself, describe your character, and tell us uh, why we should go buy your art on Etsy. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the shameless plug episode. Yeah, I guess so. It's not um, even my stuff. I don't care. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm B. I'm playing Ezra. Surprise. And I guess if Dirk is the resident cowboy warlock, I'm the resident twink warlock. <laughs> Tefsley's not here. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess go... <sighs> Go buy my stuff on Etsy if you like it, I guess. And, like, if you're interested in the link, I can post it on YouTube. You can just leave a comment. But uh, if you don't love it, don't buy it. You know. Just comment below. They'll be watching. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. We're going to move over to Ben. Ben, if you could introduce yourself, describe your character, and uh, tell us what it's like being a rabbit dad. Oh, you're in for this one. Okay. So uh, I'll be playing um, Brunger, the uh, Goliath cleric, um, still holding on to the lawful good uh, alignment for the time being. It could change. i uh, got to discuss it with the DMs at a later date. But um, describing him, uh, I, I think I've posted some pictures of uh, people remember Boagrius from the movie Troy, uh, the guy that wields the gigantic hammer. Um, it fits in pretty well. Uh, being a rabbit dad, so uh, I'll try and keep it brief, but um, my four-pound rabbit just moved a three-foot, 
three and a half foot tall by six foot long gate, almost two feet to try and get to her, uh, her companion. She's in heat. He's neutered, so he can't help her, but she still wants him. So. <laughs> That's great. Uh, all right, last we're going to go to Harrington because he's here instead of watching Community on his roommate's here. computer. Uh, <laughs> introduce yourself, describe your character, and tell us uh, how much alcohol your school encouraged you to imbibe this evening. <laughs> um, so I'm Harrington. There's a thing on my tongue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a warlock boy. Just trying to have a good time trying to figure out who the fuck this Vader is and how I can get in contact with him. Uh and how much alcohol? Too much. Uh, probably like in measurement terms, like cooking terms. Two to three cups worth of Jack Daniels. Oof. Well there it is. Like, like twelve, thirteen shots worth. Yeah, you're you're a bit quiet. I don't know if it's I can turn. I am oh, can there. be louder if you want. There we go. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna start today in uh Arony. Um I don't know if you guys would all be together or if any of you wanted to uh be introduced. I forgot we have a new character. So we'll start there. We'll start there. Casey, what's your guy's name again? Boggy. Boggy. Boggy was doing druid stuff. He was out uh, gathering mushrooms and, you know, talking to trees, you know, kicking it with whatever wildlife was around, having a good time. Okay. Lived in swamp or lived. Swamp. He was kicking it with big leeches. And uh, you know, oozes and stuff, uh, <laughs> and uh, some dragger. Uh, but anyway, you hit your head on a ancient tree and uh, passed out. Um, and you've been awoken, uh, in this not swamp. You're in a pasture, like a beautiful green open area and you just wake up on the ground here uh you see a fairy fly overhead of you 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 look up you see giant mountainous walls and there's four portals on them there's a big old boulder in the center with fey creatures around uh, hello guys uh what hello You'll uh, have two quicklings, if you know what those are, zip up to you, all right? Uh, one is wearing all red, one's wearing all white. And they're like, hey, what's going on, man? I don't, I don't really know what's, uh, what's going on here. Uh, is this a swamp now? No, not a swamp. Close. Did you come from a swamp? I came from a swamp, yeah. Hey, what's this guy doing here? And the other one's, I don't know what this guy's doing here. Hey, what's this guy doing here? And then you hear, like, four other people, I don't know what this guy's doing here. And then finally the boulder kind of <laughs> levitates a little bit. And he goes, You have been summoned. Oh, hi. Uh, it's nice to meet you. My name is Boggy. Okay, you you seem like a cool guy. I don't want to do the whole big. Oh yes, I'm perfect. I'm a big boulder man. I I don't want to scare you any more than I should. Oh, I, I you're natural. I'm not scared by you at all. Love um, that. I love that for us. Um, so we need you to help with um elemental. Uh, you know, uh, the 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 anti elements. They are trying to fuck up our shit. Oh, that's no good. Um, uh, yeah, we we gotta straighten that out right away. Um, is there is there other people helping? Should I? Yes, I needed to get these people, and this is why I brought you. I need to. I need somebody to send to get them because I I don't have a way to, but I can get you there. Oh, okay. Well, uh, is there is there anything that you know I can entice them with? Because a lot of people don't like me. Sometimes I smell and. Uh, I mean, I can I can be real nice to people, but 
you know. I know I know what to do. You see, see you take this. Uh, in levitates a banana <laughs> to you. Just a regular banana. Uh, I try to unpeel it. No, no, no! Don't open! Don't open the banana. Well, what, what, what do I do with it? You give it to the monkeys and then the people that trust you. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll do that. Which, which direction do I need to go? Oh no! I will send you there. Um, you pop through a tree. You see a dome. You go in it. You find the man with monkey, lizard, oh. lizard man. Lizard man with monkey. Okay. Lizard I, man with I, monkey. I, okay. All right. Do you know your plan? I just bring a banana to the guys and we fight elemental things and I don't know, that's all you gave me so far. Well, you tell them they come here. You tell them come back here. They know the way. Oh, they know the way. They so know the way, go yes. For the older guy? Is yeah, that what you you're go, saying? Yes, tell them to go to Valignet, the emergent Valignet. primordial. Oh, thank you. Great to meet you, Valignet. No, it's great to meet you. What's your name again? It's Boggy. Boggy, Boggy's a good name. I'm appreciative of it. Do you want some turtle soup before you leave? You eat the real turtles? There's a whole thing with it. Is the turtles? They now never stop coming. So you have to do something with them. I don't. I'm uh, hopefully you use the whole turtle, but I don't like to eat meat. Oh, okay, that's fine. You can just have some carrot and. I'll make you some cream of mushroom soup sometime. And y'all like that a lot. I have carrot mushroom soup if you'd like it. It really boosts your stamina. That, that sounds great. Okay, here you go. It levitates over to you. <laughs> it was right. Walk through the tree now. Okay, okay. I'll see you later. Thank you yes. for the soup. No, and, it was uh, my pleasure. I'll, I'll be back soon. You're a fantastic man. And you walk through the tree, and you see a dome. Translucent, but you can see it's clearly... You don't know if you can walk through it or what. He told you to go into it. I'll just start walking straight uh, toward it in that case. Yeah, you just, your foot goes in it, and then you walk right through. Um, you see roads leading to what you see as a town, and there seems to be a center. You would imagine it's a good place to start looking. Okay. I'm looking for someone with a monkey. All right. What's everybody doing? Still sitting at the edge of the dome, per usual. Well, you would have seen him then. You, we'll say you're there. You walk in and you see this uh, awesome. Seven foot. What he's? I'm talking bulb. to you oh, about me. Ezra. Yes, but you see this fur bulb. You want to describe your fur bulb? Yeah, seven foot two. Um, if you've ever seen a fur bulb, he does not look like a particular fur bulb. Very skinny, beady eyed. You know, has a nice big sack with some different herbs and, you know, probably a couple, you know, mushrooms hanging out. He smells very earthy if you ever get close to him. If you ever get real close to him, he stinks. Um, really crazy hair, just unkempt, straight up. He's got this bluish, greenish tint to his skin. Um, his nails are always dirty, but they aren't too long. And, uh, yeah, he holds a staff. He has a wooden shield and some leather armor on him. You see this furball look kind of confused walking into the dome, Ezra. As you're sitting there throwing rocks out of the dome and maybe hoping one will get thrown back into you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you new here? I'm looking for a monkey. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Uh, Valignat sent me, and um, I got a banana for a monkey. Yeah, I think I know who you're looking for. Oh, that's great. Uh, do you uh, do you know Valignat? Uh, yeah, yeah, I met him. Big steaming floaty rock boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, yeah. you can follow me. I'll take you to to the monkey, I guess. Great. What What do you do? Uh. Not a whole hell of a lot, my friend. Kind of good. I magic stuff sometimes. That sounds real good. Uh, are you happy here? You know, that's a good question. Yeah. Do Do you like to play any sports? <laughs> uh, I'm real good at tossing rocks. 
<laughs> I think he liked to play sports. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. You guys head to the center of town, uh, where the bar is, where Lerp is definitely sitting in front of. Would they have passed mm -hmm. any of you on the way, or? I was in the library. The library's right in the center of town, too. It's like a big circle of bar, mayor's house, library, whatever else. <laughs> Anything else you describe? It's here. <laughs> Gerald's house. Uh, Pops. Pops's. Pops's. Yeah. The map. See, photographers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Effie would be hovering around Pops' shop, wondering if appropriate to go in and ask for a cup of tea. Around Pops? Yeah. Uh, Pops' shop is empty currently. Uh, you can see oh. that, and you you know it's it's a it's like three. Uh, so it's time for him to drink. Um, but you know he'll sell to you when he's there. I don't want to buy anything. I just want some of his special tea. Uh, <laughs> well, if you wanted to go to the bar, he'd be there. Okay. Well, um. Did I see them coming through? Yeah, you'd be seeing uh, Ezra walking with a very tall Furbolg man, skinny Furbolg. Um, you'd see this as well, Arrow, from in the library, looking out the window as you're reading a book that says, uh, uh, of all the nine hells, uh, the sixth is pretty bad, stuff like that. Um, and yeah. <laughs> you look up and you see this. <laughs> Exchange this new person. And Lurpu, you definitely know. They're heading right for you. Okay. Harungir and Dirk are probably in the bar. Correct. Are we going into the bar? Is that what's happening? Or... Well, Lurpu's out front. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Then no, we're talking oh, to Lurpu. Lizard guy. Do I see a monkey with him? Oh, yeah. He's on my shoulder. I got a big yellow hat on. And I got a monkey on my shoulder. So seven foot tall, bluish greenish man comes up to you with a banana in one hand and his hand outreached toward you. And he just gets a little bit awkwardly close to you, like within a foot. Then, What's up, big man? I, 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 I'm i Moggy and I, Valignat sent me and I just want to say hi. Well, hi. Valignat's cool. He's the floating rock, right? Yeah, he's real nice. He wanted me to give you this, and then he extends his hand out with a banana. Oh, look, George, he brought you some food. George gets and... ecstatic. Uh, he jumps up and down, he grabs the banana, he opens it, he jumps onto your shoulders. And he, he takes a big old bite of the banana, sniffs your hair, grabs something out of it, eats it, jumps back on the Lerpoo's shoulder. Oh, there's more where that came. Uh, that's, that's some good stuff you got right there. Uh, he needs our help. We should, uh, we should What's go. that smell? Oh, that's me. Do you want some? <laughs> Do you no. want some? <laughs> <laughs> Not right now, dude. You got any bugs on you? I don't know. I don't, I don't really keep them. Um, but sometimes they come and go. I'll keep my eyes peeled, bro. You can, you can take as many as you want. Uh, just, uh, just ask before you take the mushrooms. Uh, some of them are a little psychedelic. Oh, good to know. To me, you just sound like Bobby Boucher. That's exactly <laughs> oh, yeah. the vibe I'm getting. That's the vibe he's going for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, what Adam Sandler movie am I thinking of? Do they, it is do my they... favorite Casey voice thus far, though. Do they, uh, do they have any bread in this, is this establishment? Oh, they have pink drinks. I know that. I don't know about bread. I think bread would be good, or uh, or something that. Yeah, let's go with some bread. Should we go inside? Sure. Let's go ask. We just got to make sure this idiot named Ruggy doesn't get in here. Oh, does yeah, he is not... Ruggy around? Uh, Ruggy's in the library by you. He hears his name. He's like, <laughs> "Oh, fuck you!" He's sitting there reading a big book. Is are his eyes glowing right now? No. Okay. What's the book? What's he reading? Uh, you can't see the spine of it. 
it's laying down flat on the table, and he's like standing over it with his finger, like reading hey, aggressively. I, I I don't want to cut in on the new one. Uh... Fuck it. Hey, Ruggy, what you reading? Oh, oh, hey, uh, no, this is none of your concern. What language is it in? It's not one that you can discern. It's an old book. Comprehend language? Um, I would say you, the, the words turn to common for you. After you cast that, you still don't know what language it is, but uh, you catch a few words. They say things along the lines of multiverse and uh, reconstruction and uh, deconstruction. Uh, you see atomic stuff. It seems like real deep uh, stuff. And the, the language... Seems like an ancient, ancient language that you've never experienced before. I'm gonna go sit, uh, walk out to the library and uh, take a seat on the steps and short rest, I guess. <laughs> Not for a bit. <laughs> Cast a spell, take a nap. <laughs> okay, yeah, Wait, we can say you get a short, short rest then before yeah. you get picked up. You guys walk into the bar, uh, you see Pops slamming beers, just like another. Oh yeah, it's another you know, and Lucky's like, Oh great, another vagrant. You bring another stinky, stinky man into my bar that I have to clean up after. Be nice, Lucky. He's really cool. Sorry, you just you've been bringing a lot of well, I guess it's not you, but ah, I'm just getting tired of it. He's looking for some bread. Bread bread bread. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm just a kitchen now, aren't I? Yeah, I guess I I put up a whole menu of um of fantastic feasts for you to imbibe. Yes, I'll go get some bread. I can yeah, I can trade you some uh, herbs or maybe. I don't want your food? herbs. Don't he goes them. and gets the bread. <laughs> he procures a baguette. Uh, so the the bag that I have herbs kind of falling out of, I, I just take the bread. Fold it up and kind of straight and put it inside. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Yes. Um, your name? Well, I'm Boggy. It's nice to meet Boggy, you. Boggy, I'm lucky. Uh, Would you like to purchase anything? The bread is complimentary. Oh, thank you. Um, um, yeah, that's that's a nice thing to do. What can I get with the gold? Gold. You could get a pink drink. You could get a shot of Granny's. You could get a full mug of ale. What, uh, what's that stuff made of? Which one? All of it. Uh, pink drink is undisclosed, Granny's is undisclosed, ale, wheat, barley, um... Oh, I have an yeast. ale then. Yes, uh, okay. I, I, here's a gold. Here's an ale. He procures you an ale. He just looks down at it, holds it with both hands, and looks around the room. I feel how tall is bog is boggy seven two <laughs> nephew will walk up and pat him on the knee oh he hello i'm i i'm boggy hi i'm nephi it's good to meet you. you did you want some of my ale um no thank you oh. i was wondering i heard you were a druid are you a druid Y y y yes. I'm a druid too. You live exactly. in the forest like me? Oh, I live in a swamp. Oh. That must be very wet. Yeah, I like it there. Um, It's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, uh, it's hard to grow stuff if um you don't have wetness. I live in the forest and we get rain. Oh, rain's that's... real good. Yeah, you can yeah. grow a lot of stuff that way. What kind of animals do you have? We have animals. Like, this is my squirrel. His name's Sondor. He hangs oh. out with me. Uh, Boggy starts talking, doing, like, weird chirps and, like, moving his fingers. Uh, Furbolgs can talk to animals. Oh, yeah. So he's, he's just, hey, how you doing? You're looking, you know, 
really nice with that coat and i like your tail thanks mister uh i'm doing good yeah i just chill with this gnome she's pretty tight yo uh, uh well i i mainly like spiders uh, I, I like spiders a lot um spiders make pretty webs in my trees at home are you are you gonna help with uh Vagnat too? Sure, I'd love to. He's staring at you. Still <laughs> cupping your hands. You gonna drink your ale? Oh, oh yes, yes. Okay. And then, and then he just he also, drinks half of also it. Has, he also has tea. That's what I usually yes. get. Yes, would you like a tea? Lucky, any new flavors? Uh, yes, I actually just got a new flavor in. It's raspberry. Sounds delicious. It is. No matter what my hey. mother says. Did you know Pops has tea too? And I'm going to look pointedly at Pops. Pops goes, oh yeah, I do a special brew. Lucky goes, yes, I've been trying to get the brew, uh, the, the recipe for ages. He won't give it to me. Let me have some yesterday or a few days ago. I've tried it, but only times, a little. But I've never been able to nail it. You wouldn't let me have a second cup, though. I don't know why. I think he puts metal shavings in it. Oh, oh that's allegations. That's slander, Lucky. Was, oh, me slander? Yeah. How about the time you shot the whole bar? Pops just kind of doesn't say. I don't anything. quite know if that <laughs> that slander that might just be assault, actually. A murder. You know what? It got him to shut up, didn't it? Oh, you want me to shut up now? We're not doing this today. I hope it doesn't have metal. I'm a druid. I can't have metal in my tea. What does being a druid? Have have to do with metal. <laughs> metal, bad. It's it's procured from the evil things in the world. Oh, it's not natural. It's man-made, kind yeah. of. Okay. Like, there's plenty of metal. Well, I mean, like ore. Now people spin around and show off her completely metal-free outfit. Because druids aren't allowed to wear metal. I knew a druid who used anti-metal. Oh. That was wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do I see Dirk in the bar? I believe so. Yeah. What's up, Dirk? Uh, 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 uh. Dirk is just like asleep at a table near the back. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey Boo. Valignat needs our help. Oh, what? uh. He was the that boulder thing, right? Yeah. Well, sounds like a plan. We did we did uh offer our services to him, so can't go back on my word, can I? Well, you could, but it wouldn't be very nice. Well, Dirk doesn't go back on his word. And it's from gear in there as well, then. Yes, he is. I'm What's sitting up, at his other... usually high top table. What's up, other big man? Check out the other big dude I met. And he points to Boggy. I've been watching the room. <laughs> <laughs> Boggy takes the the cup or the tankard, whatever it is, and pours a little bit in his herbalism bag. <laughs> Love it. You're getting I a heard good you say, going in there. <laughs> I heard you said something about Valignat was looking for for help. We did discuss some uh, elemental issues. We should probably head that way if he's really looking for help. Hey, blue guy. Bog. Bog. Uh, it's, a, it's a boggy. It's good to meet you. It's uh, good to meet you. You uh, smell like you're fermenting. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> where's uh, 
Where are the other warlocks? They uh they usually come with us. Uh, it's right, right there. there. Yeah, we're right here. Oh, uh, is Arrow oh, in the yeah. library or in Arrow's the bar? Arrow's the steps of the library, taking the power down. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Go find him then. We're vibing. Oh, so you're all leaving. Fantastic. Um, yeah, your but... your biggest customer is the only source of income for this place. Yes, no, it's fine. Just don't go off dying, please, and I'll have somebody else watch the door. Thank you, Lopez. Yeah, what a toss-up between peace and quiet are the only people that actually give you gold. Crazy. He actually throws a, a 20 platinum to you, Lopez. Whoa, thanks, Lucky. Yeah, it's a back, back pay. Hopefully, whoever you have watch the door can keep that annoying little rugster out of here for you. I haven't seen that twerp all day, and I I hope to keep it that way. Oh well. So, uh, so what what are we gonna do for the Alec night? Does does anyone know what uh what, what's in in the store? Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, we gotta uh go to the different elemental planes and. Take care of some anti-elementals or some such. Uh, it's causing a ruckus. Yeah, so basically there's water elementals in the fire plane, etc. And we have to go handle it. Oh, I like water. Uh, uh, I was hoping to not go to the water one. <laughs> Pop stops uh, Nephi on the way out. He hands you a little... Like a little capsule. Nephi, and... He says, there you go. Drop that in some hot water. Um, and you'll have a good time. Thank you, Pops. Can no you problem. swear there's no metal? No metal in that one. No, uh, I won't swear about the other one. All right. Thanks. And he flicks one into your little fermenting bag, Boggy. Can I look at the one that Nephi has trying to do some sort of check on herbalism to see if I can see anything that might be like yeah. wrapped in inside? Yeah. So you um, know, no. this oh, got nature. Nephi so cut off her rocker. No clue. It's dark. It looks like it's tightly packed, whatever it is. All right. So you guys head out of the bar, and you see Arrow uh, kicked back, wizard hat over face, leaning on the steps. Sup, nerd? You ready to go kick some ass? I kick him. Torch, get him. <laughs> the monkey jumps on you after arrow or after Ezra kicks you. Fuck. Damn it now. The monkey's mm. like like slapping you in the face. It's time to go, buddy. <laughs> Starts trying to kick you in the head. <laughs> I will throw Grab it with one hand. <laughs> it's pissing on your arm. <laughs> Putting it in the bag of holding. <laughs> hey, give me George back. He gets it. He, he's being gonna... mean to animals. That's not nice. <laughs> he's gonna take a quick one minute timeout. <laughs> I hope he's in your of... bag. <laughs> he might, but there's ten minutes of air in there, so he's fine. <laughs> He was just trying to let you know that we are ready for an adventure. Then he started peeing on me. Well, you were shaking him. I was not shaking him. No, you're him. not supposed to sh I saw your arms. You me in the face. I didn't shake. Did I shake him? I don't think I shook him. I did something. I don't know. You guys hear a, aha, from inside the library. And just a blur of colors just zooms past you guys. Yeah, that was Ruggy. He um was reading an ancient book about something. I don't know what the fuck the language was. There was something about uh, 
multiverse, blah, 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 blah. Armageddon, atomic. Those kind of buzzwords. That can only be good news. Yeah, I only bring good news. Ruggie can read? <laughs> That's Wait, news Ruggie? to me yeah. as well. Apparently. Very, very much news to me. I mean, apparently he's teleporting now and that, that shouldn't be a thing. Hold on. Can I walk into the library and look and see if he left the book on the table? Book's gone. Book's gone. Shid. You actually see a librarian oh. going... What book did he take? One of the really, really old ones. It's down in the cage. We're not supposed to give to anyone, but he was the mayor, you know. Was, you know. Don't don't really think that's a good idea. However, I don't know how you would stop him. Yeah, it's a whole thing. And it's like any of the dragon slayers. You don't want to fuck with them, so I just let them do whatever they want. Just so you know, he's going to kill all of us. See ya. Not For down. sure. Only good news. Oh, I'm going to let George out of the bag, bro. Oh, yeah. I let George out of the bag. He comes out just... <laughs> and he starts, like, <laughs> kicking you, Harrington. <laughs> Not doing any damage. He runs and he jumps on Lerpu's shoulders. Do you shit in my bag? You don't know. You can reach in there and request monkey shit in your brain if you want to try. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in my mind. I'm going to keep that Or in you my can mind. turn the whole bag inside out. Have you written it all down? Yeah, I have it all written down. Yeah, I'll turn it inside out. Fuck it. Everything in your bag spills onto the floor. I don't have that much. Well, there's a massive ladder in there, but... <laughs> the ladder comes out. and uh, Harun here, make shit. me a dexterity saving throw. Will do. Ooh, that's a seven. A seven. It just wings you in the face. You don't take any damage, but it didn't feel good. There are better places to do that, you know. Uh, the entire context. That's why we're nice to animals. Control. Is it covered in shit? Uh, there's not any monkey shit in there, no. I'll press the digitation and then just push everything back in. <laughs> Quick clean. Quick, Quick clean. clean. Quick clean. All right, yeah, everything goes back in there after 50 minutes. So, uh, 50 minutes? How, mu how much did you have in there? 15, I figure. You're picking up a ladder, like, eh, eh, eh. okay, here's oh, this. Only, and, only like, like 10 things. Okay, never mind. You just throw it all back in real quick. And, like, the ladder, the ladder, some books, a slingshot, a bag of tricks. Not a some bag of tricks. I do not have a bag of tricks in there. Some roast beef, a chicken, a pizza. Uh, some books, uh, ball of iron bands, and a cursed belt. Hey, does anyone want this cool belt? <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of like? belt is it? I think it's a belt of giant strength. I don't know, though. Where'd you get this? Uh, purgatory? It was one of the things you were... Yeah, yeah he no, I... I oh, he asked her... <laughs> <laughs> do, do, you, do you need me to uh, detect magic on it? Go for it. I promise it's magical. Uh, Just not I'll the good kind. Not the good kind. Use the furball mode. Uh, furball magic detect magic on it. You detect magic on it. It's magical. You see color of... Whatever one would modify your strength modifier. <laughs> I don't know what kind of magic that would be. What kind of magic is that? Abjuration? Well, trans that Transmutation? Trans yeah. It, this seems right. It, that all works out, but I can't identify it, so uh, I'm not completely sure. I got it from basically a demon place. I would not trust it in the slightest. That's not natural. That's not natural at all. It created that horse. I yeah. point at Dor Dirk. I don't know what you're talking about. I really, I really like this little horse. <laughs> the horse's I eyes on, look up at I Dirk. Pull it on my pocket. Its eyes were already looking into yours as you pull it out. Hey, I leave that. Oh no, there you go. Hey there, sugar cube. It opens its mouth. Just tears apart. You see fuzz inside of it. 
Well, I'm glad you're doing all right. <laughs> Put them back so, in my pocket. What are we doing? What are you doing? Your pocket. Yeah. Oh, you guys had no? Yeah, let's go see Valignat. Yeah. yeah, no, no, why'd you wake me up? We're going to see Valignat. Elemental Take... stuff. Cool. Yep. Going. Sounds good. Hi, hi, I'm I'm Boggy. Uh it's good to meet you. You smell. Good oh, to meet thank you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that too, but he seems to actually be kind of okay. That, it's a good smell. You'll get used to it. It's a good smell? <laughs> yeah, from like like 20 yards away, it just kind of like smells like clay, but you get like any closer and it's just compost. <laughs> yeah, that's just boars. Um, it, it won't hurt you at all, don't worry. But uh, yeah. It smells there, like a mixture of moonshine and nitroglycerin. That's not black mold, uh, He it? does have a, a 10 foot radius around him of. You can just see little spores in the air. Hi. Not getting within 10 feet. If he is. Real good. Hey, uh, <laughs> and he looks to who got hit in the head? Harangir. Yeah. Do you, do you need, he sticks his hand and kind of no. like motions it around in his bag. <laughs> do you no. need a little bit of medicine for your head? No. I'm I'm good. Thank you very much, though. Okay. Well, uh, are we are we going now? Do we need to do anything else? Anybody doing anything in town? I'm good. I'm hey. good. Should we should we get any types of potions in case we don't get to choose what elemental plane we go to? Mm -hmm. Probably. Yes, that's that sounds very wise. Yeah, you know, air it resistance, also, water breathing, stuff like that. It also does sound like it could be potentially very expensive if we have to get, I am assuming, three different potions for each of us. Mm. Or we can insist on going to the Earth plane. I think that's just really flat, if I remember right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, that's where I was hoping to go. I mean, we're going to have to have to take care of these uh, at some point, I assume. But, uh,. So yeah, I don't see why we couldn't start off in the Earth one. We can burn that bridge when we come across it. Okay. No, that's the fire <laughs> one. We're going to the Earth. Can I cast water breathing? Oh. Nick, I'm assuming the monkey is not an actual beast that Lerpu has? That monkey is not a beast, no. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Sorry. No, Lerpu doesn't fine. know that. Forgot I had to, yeah. Forgot <laughs> I had to ask for those sorts of things. So what are we, we doing, guys? Yeah. Well, I say we just go see Valley Ned and tell him we're going to go through the Earth one first. You could still try to communicate yep. with the monkey. I'm just saying. Just because it's not beast doesn't mean you can't communicate with it. It might work the same way with what it is, you know. Yeah, I reread that too, and technically I can't understand what they say back. I don't know, like with. Oh, okay, could... cool. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, you guys head out. Um, we're gonna take a break there. It's about time. Um, and uh, it'll be an indeterminate amount of minutes. Thanks, folks. And you sound like we're back. The image is back. Hello. Welcome back. You guys left Arony. Uh unless anybody has anything they'd like to say to Six Fathoms, we're just gonna skip to the next dome, if that's okay. Sounds good. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys have a deal set up with Six Fathoms. He pays, the mayor pays for adventures. It's just the whole thing. We set it up last time. It's all good. Uh, you get to the new dome, the West Nowhere. Uh, forest of Screams is halfway in the dome. It's not, it's the good part of the forest. It's on the west side of the river. The bad part's on the east side. Um, and then the, the Cobalt Kiln Desert's like on the other half, and there's a bit of a good pasture in the middle, and that's where you guys uh, 
still keeping an eye out for belts on the ground through the forest of screams. You will pass through the forest a bit. Uh, whoever wants to specifically look for belts, let me know. I mean, I, I don't want to spend any extra, extra time, but I am watching for belts. I did hear a story about belts being on the ground. So Yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, you can give me a perception check if you want to look for perception. belts. It's not going to waste time to look around for belts. Um, that would be a 23. It's a really good perception check. It's not too bad. Um, there, you, worse. you don't see any belts. Um, you see what somebody might mistake for a belt, but it's definitely a snake. Uh-huh. Again, uh, okay. All it's, right. All it's, right. it seems to be a common thing with these belts and the snakes. They, uh, it seems like a trick. The whole thing sounds, like the, sounds like I, I'm wondering if there's uh something amiss. Like did did uh, somebody put a story out there that there were belts in in the forest? Oh, and, shit. and in it's fact just there's snakes. a and that there, in fact there's a bunch of snakes. Hmm. We'll have to investigate further. You could, yeah, you could definitely look into it. Um so no belts are found. Uh snakes could be procured. They'll probably try to bite you. It's up to you. I do have druid friends. True. It's like just thinking to myself, I could put a snake in the bag of holding, but it would die after ten minutes. Just <laughs> what do you want for that belt you got there, Arrow? I don't think it's a good idea, but if you want it, I'll hold on to it for sure. Will you hold on to it around your waist and attune to it? Well, we don't have time for me to attune right now, but I will later. I think we have all the enabler. Time in the world. Are we? Are we Bug in us? Just, just I owe you. We'll we'll talk about it later. All right. So I take the belt from Harrington and drop it in my bag of holding for now. All right. <laughs> That's no longer my problem. Fucking mint. Belt of something. I'm gonna write down. Oh, I'm gonna cross off cursed belt. <laughs> Yeah, you should write definitely cursed below that too, Dave. Okay. I would message Brad and ask him, "Hey, what the fuck does that belt you gave Harrington?" Brad's been, that? you know, Brad's been waiting like a week for you to go. All right, I'm gonna put this on. Yeah, he likes to put buttons in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I All right. saw. I, I saw that message pop up and my eyebrows just shot up. I was like, what we'll <laughs> <laughs> Is the snake in our way? Uh, no, there's no snake in your way. You guys have a clear okay. path. So, uh, you're going in, do you want to go into the dome or do you want to just go through it and go to, straight to Valignan? I don't have any business in the in the new dome at the moment. Yeah, the only thing I would theoretically want to do would be buy some of the vegan rations so I can feed George. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, anybody remember what that lady was? What her name was? No, nope. I don't think we got a name. I think we just got crazy a crazy old, old woman, just a crazy old, woman. Crazy old lady. <laughs> there's the same crazy old lady. There's there's houses. There's more houses than there was before. It seems like this place is really starting to come together. Everything has a real uh, dark wood, thatch roof, sharp angles, uh, some stone with with some lighter wood for bigger supports. Um, that's basically what everything's being built out of real uh, Viking stuff. <laughs> AC. <laughs> Any open from. face houses? There's a few open face houses being put up. Are they? Uh, are they? Are they sponsored by Adidas? There, there. There's one that, if it was sponsored, it'd probably be Nike because it's got a swoop in it. Weird. Uh, I know. No. But no there's Adidas? no fantasy okay. Nike or Adidas here, unfortunately. But you guys could start uh, to corporatize the landscape if you wanted. That's a thought. Imagine if you could start corporate uh, government. Anyway. 
Do you want to go to the old lady? Do you want to talk to anybody here? There's houses yeah, I just about. Wanna... There's all kinds of things. I just want to get the rations from her. You walk up. She's like, hey, what's going on? Oh, I'd just like to get some of the vegan rations that you I have. I got the vegan rations. I'm tired of them. Nobody wants to buy them. They all go hunting. Oh, the mayor here must buy some of them from you. Well, yeah. I mean, he's not the mayor. Jit's like over there with a top hat on. <laughs> he's like <laughs> pointing at people. <laughs> like, hey, hey, bro. What's up, bro? He goes, <laughs> how you doing, dude? It's been great over here. Oh, I got a new monkey. Check it out. I love that monkey. Can I pet it? <laughs> he comes you over sure to can. you. Oh, dude. George is with it. He just sees another you. <coughs> oh, what's up, Smells? Hi there. I'm I'm Boggy. Oh, it's Jensen, good to meet you. It's popping. Um, we're kicking it here. Do you want to live here? Are you new? I I'm new. Is it wet here? No. No one else. No thanks. No. Half of it's a desert, bro. <laughs> well, that's no good for me at yeah, all. Yeah, probably not. You're steez if you're a wet boy. Anyway, I've been making the shots around here for no reason, dude. Somebody should probably step in and be like, yo, Jensen's rules are whack, because they are, dude. I suck. What's going on? What? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? I bet you're like the best mayor bro, ever. No, I don't really enforce any rules is the problem. Boggy pats you on the back. Well, the, you shouldn't be so rough on yourself. I bet you're uh, doing a great job. I try, man, but, like, they say you're supposed to, like, like type up laws, you know, and I'm just like, just tell somebody, like, what, why you gotta spell and know how to read it to be a mayor. Right. It is what it is, dude. I'm not mayor or nothing. I'm just helping, you know? Just call it the law of the land, and, and when they don't do something right, you, you just... Make them pay. This guy knows what's good, dude. You bury them in the ground, law of the land. So basically what I'm saying is you guys should, like, find somebody to stay here and do this so I don't have to, so I can go surf, man. Why don't you just bring the surfing here? He, like, looks to the two druids. Is that, like, a possibility? Could you... Magic the sun to, or the moon to, to make waves in the desert? I think that would really mess things up, but, um, but it's just, just, just my humble opinion. We need to find somebody that can make waves out of sand. I'm going to start thinking. Well, sand waves, that's, that's probably doable. You know, I like to mess around with earth and stuff, you know, like some tremors and, you know, all that, but, but water, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sand waves. I'll look into it for yeah. you. Thank you. We'll be surfing the sand by February, dude. Oh, that'd can, be righteous. I can do create or destroy water, but you only get to surf once. Can you make salt water? It doesn't specify, so I suppose I could. I've been having to salt my own water, dude. You know how expensive it gets to fucking get salt? Salt is important, so I guess it makes sense that it would be expensive. It's like my whole diet is like a raspberry, a yellow mushroom, a red mushroom, salt water, dude. And a uh, salt water. It's you like salt water? diet. No. Oh, uh, dude, it's good stuff. Good for bellies. I I doubt that. Do you drink regular water too? Yeah. I mean, I okay. can. But it doesn't taste as good, you know? What about tea? Have you ever had tea? Yeah, I've had tea. Really good. I like tea. Anyway, I'm going to go think about whatever. Y'all have fun doing... We're going to help a big rock. Have fun helping Boof, dude. Is it Boof? No, his name is Valignat. Is he bigger than Boof? 
I don't know who Boof is. Like the big rock guy. Oh, you mean Bauf? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he bigger than Bauf? He's bigger than Bauf. Yeah. Fuck. Dude, I bet I'll never meet him. All right, have a good time, guys. Later, bro. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Denton. It was good to meet you. Oh, uh, no problem, dude. Hey, let me give you a tip. Keep it easy, bro. Oh, oh, you too. Thank you have bardic inspiration for ten minutes, so. <laughs> you too. What's the die? D six. Thank you. All right. Uh, you guys got you got a vegan ration or two. You guys head off. Um, you see a weird little blue skinned man, wispy, light white blue hair. He's sitting there flipping a coin as you're walking up to the jungle. Oh, oh um, this guy. How's it going, bud? Ezra's Hello. friend. <coughs> My best friend. <laughs> How are you doing now? So, uh, you still collecting blood, or what's the latest scam? No, still the blood thing. Now, I see you brought some people with you. Always. You there, you looking to make some quick cash? Tall man. Sorry. Crazy head. Uh, what, uh, what kind of cash? I'll give you gold, you give me your blood. It's just the plasma, mind you. What, 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 what are you going to do with my blood? Now that's between me and myself, but it's going to go along to help a lot of people. I'd like to know, but um, but thank you for the offer. Uh, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. How about you, uh, little woman? Little woman. <coughs> Yeah, you're trying to give me some of that gnome blood? I don't really have very much. I know. I'm just going to take a little plasma out you and put that blood back in. You're going to be fine now, okay? Um, well, we're off to do something. We're off to see a wizard. Sort of. Well, it, it's going to require some, some strength and might, and unfortunately... I don't think I can part with any blood right now. You can ask your friend Maybe Ezra on the way here. Back. It's a good way to make a quick buck. I don't really need any money. Yeah, it's think. absolutely fantastic. Mm-hmm. Any of y'all reconsider? No. Mm -hmm. yeah, You're I'm new. Yeah. I'm still afraid of needles. Man with the ear. Me? You new here? No, nah, I've run into you before. All right. Um, I don't know. Is it blood or is it just the plasma? Just the he gives you the blood. Yeah, he gives you the blood back. The blood, back. Put the blood right back in. Yeah. It's like it never even came out. I'll think on it. I'll sleep on it. I think you should do it. He's gonna make a persuasion it? check, and you need to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Can I do a medicine check to see if I know anything okay. about okay. plasma and what he's talking about? Yes. Probably not. I got an eleven. Uh, the, the what? What am I making? Uh, wisdom, wisdom saving, saving throw. Okay. I didn't. I more than likely did not beat him. Well, what'd you get? Six. No, you didn't beat him. You really feel like doing it. You are not being forced, currently, but your character really feels like doing it. You know, I'm kind of into it. However, I'm not too keen on 50 gold. How about oh, something else? I could up the ante, maybe. How about... See that coin you're flipping? Oh, you're not getting this coin, but I got some others. <laughs> Uh, anything similar make? I have a similar make to, uh, coin I'm smelling on your friend over there. He looks at Lerpu. Like mine? 
Like a soul coin? No, 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 no. No? It's more of a coin of channeling elements. It's not this exact coin, and he holds up the blue and white coin, mm -hmm. but it's a similar one. More similar to his, but a little less versatile. This one's um, pretty cool, Arrow. Yeah, I'm it not, helped I'm not... me. Help you what? It helped me kill Benny. Oh, you killed Benny? Yeah, dude. How about that? Shit. Damn, that's good news. <laughs> I like to hear that. You're a good guy. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, he won't be bothering any more of them oh, forest gonna... critters. Can I make an insight check on that? Yeah. That is... 19. Did my medicine check get anything? To... Uh, you, you know there's plasma in blood. That's, a, that's about it, you know? Uh, he seems genuinely relieved. Okay. Aren't we all? <laughs> so that, um... um... The coin, well, 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 what's it do? What's, it's going to allow you to infuse an attack with a bit of zappy energy. <laughs> is, that a, is it a melee attack? It is, but I could modify it if you give me two doses of blood like your friend does. <laughs> <laughs> that ended well for her. Him? Him. 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 Now, I Call get myself. that, but that was a part of his own constitution that had to do with that there. I can tell you I'm not very constitution. Well, I can tell you I got a coin that could help you. Help me with the constitution? No. Where'd you get a burst? What? Say again? You got a burst, friend. I do. Yeah. Bro, so do I. The f <laughs> what, uh, you, you got you got some upgrades for a burst? Nope. I just think it's interesting. You got a burst mm -hmm. here. You're what half elf presuming? You're an ass man for sure. I like to push buttons. Mm hmm. Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> What does he do? He says that to Ezra. <laughs> he says that to me? Yeah. Depends. What do you mean? Your god, daddy. Your birth father. Your, you know. Skin sake. My biological father, the one who contributed to my existence? Yeah, the one that's in the sky. Bro, what the fuck? Those are two different... I don't know anybody in the sky, yo. You should figure that out, friend. Honest to God, Nick, what are you trying to get me to answer right now? <laughs> I mean, Osmeers are birthed from gods. They're all Jesuses, right? Uh, uh, yeah, they're they're um like fallen angels. Yeah. But um, but my parents are dead, and they died when I was a child. So. But do you know who your god is? No clue. That's who he's asking you about. Cool, cool, cool. It always comes down to a fucking coin flip, whether or not I do some dumb shit. I swear to God. All right. E do the thing. Don't do the thing. A uh, coin flip to get a coin. So before I do this, yeah, is this coin does it help with melee attacks? No, I can make it modified to help with uh. What do you do? What I do you do? Use the, I toss like a bottle or something. Toss just, a just bottle. something out. Toss a bottle. You do improvise. I, this is I'm actively attack. I'm I'm actively doing this. Toss it as it's going. I use the tentacles from my burst to fucking grab it and bring it back to me. I mean that's like a melee attack, isn't it? it doesn't count as one. I don't think. It, it uh it does a grapple is what it is. So I it's could, not I a could... melee. I could make you a, the coin attached to your stupid chest tube if that's what you want, and it will affect that accordingly. But only once a day. Once a day? 
but one attack. What you gonna do, Arrow? What's the damage on it? <laughs> it's two D eight, friend. <laughs> It's just lightning, though. That's all I can give you. Zappy. Zappy zippy. That's what they call it. Do they? I'll do it. I want you to be completely honest with me. Okay? <laughs> Will I be hearing from you in the future? Probably. Not because I, like, own your soul or something, but because uh, I'll probably want more blood from you. <laughs> or you'll heal about me in the tabloids. Who do, who do you help? Who do I help? Myself. Yeah. Yourself? I help myself yeah. help others. Okay. Right now, um, others need some help. Uh, this this is going on as I'm sitting in the chair and getting it. Like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, how often do you do, do you just hang out here and once you get enough blood, you'll go back and help? I've been around. Uh, I think I'm gonna go set up a to the north at the top of the plateau next to that tavern for a little bit. See if I can get some people there. What? What made you choose this location? To the, not to the north, to the south, but uh, you know, you yeah. know the cold area. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know yeah. What you mean. No, he, I knew there'd be people coming. So whenever you, you, you just instinctively know the kind of general path adventurers are gonna take. I know when people Something are gonna be coming. Something similar to that. Okay. Have you ever set up in a tavern? Yeah, I've set up in a tavern before. Nice. Uh, first one goes fine. You're on to your next right. one now. Well, before the second one, have you ever set up in the dome? Oh, uh, no, I've never been in the domes myself. But can you can you enter the dome? Yeah, I could go in there. I think. Never tried. You want to take with them, walk with me on our way back? I'm sure there's a lot of people who'd be willing to get blood, especially if you walk into the dome. I got stuff to do after this. Uh... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh... Your content. Yeah. 19. 19. All right. I rolled 17. You take two damage. Okay. You lose two health permanently. Does that, does the, is that all, do I subtract the two total health and then subtract the two damage or the two damage and then? Two damage is the two health. You take the damage okay. first and then you lose that health. Fucking shit, dude. <laughs> But because you rolled a 19, it was a d4 instead of a d8 like I rolled on Ezra. Does this look like uh, magic of any sort? or When he takes the blood out? Can I? Yeah, would it be an arcana check? So or? the blood comes out in a tube and goes into a brass, big mailbox looking thing. It has some smoke pumping out of it and there's sounds of gears and shit turning in there. And then it comes back out and goes into the tube, back into him afterward. So not really magical at all. It's magical on the inside, for sure. Oh, you can't see. But you can't see it, yeah. Okay, cool. What's this coin you got me? Uh, it, It'll do 2d8 of lightning to a, one of your tentacle attacks once per day. You gotta use a... Well... Yeah, you still got to use a bonus action to to trigger it. You have to like tickle your burst or something. I don't know. Normally you have to flick the coin, but it's attached <laughs> to the burst, so tickle your burst. <laughs> you got to feed just your fucking... burst. Ding! You can do it once when feeding your burst. Once when feeding my burst? Yeah. But you can do that as a bonus action. You can feed your burst by doing this. Okay. Okay. She'll ride. She'll ride. Anybody else? Anybody else? I got stuff to do. I'm all set. All set. All set. Doesn't want any. Doesn't want it. Doesn't like it. Did it last time. Want to do it again? <laughs> He's already no. got your blood. You might as well do it once. No. All Honestly. Right. How about you, you big man? Out? He finger guns in her own gear. Not a chance. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I don't think I, I understand it well enough. Um, yeah. yeah, I'll pass this time. I'll give it, I'll give it. I will ask you a question, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever heard of the Dissipator? I've heard of the City of Dis and the controlling person they are in. Okay. Um, I've never been to the Hells myself. I have no need to go there. Dispater's okay. never been. Dispater hasn't been here in a long time. Has not been here in a long time? Nope. Perchance you wouldn't know of a way to get in contact with him, though. Or anyone who works for him. Oh, he's probably watching us right now. Uh, I'm sure he knows you're trying to get in contact with him, so maybe one day he'll let you. Interesting. You can't um, just go around saying gods, proverbial gods, what you call them with devils, names without expecting them to be looking down on you now, or up at you, or sideways through a multiverse towards you, a quantum magnifying glasses and all that. All I know is that he scares people I'm scared of, and that's interesting to me. Yeah, I'm not scared of them. There are some people who are. That's fair. I'm scared of more <sighs> immediate threats. That's all I'll say. Okay. Oh, shit! Good day! You guys head off. <laughs> By the way, completely fucking forgot about this. I got a little imp buddy! Oh, yeah, what's your imp snake? Yeah, me too! Um, OJ. Should I have imps on the battlefield for you guys? I'm not going to use them to attack. I'm not going to use them to attack okay, either. So no imps. All right. Mine is first style points. Gotcha. Oh, 100%. OJ and Steve? Steve? Imps are like freaking one of the best uh, familiar for attacking. Yeah, they're very good for attacking. I haven't looked at the stats, and I don't care to right now, but maybe, maybe I'll bring them up. Eventually, because they're, yeah, that's yeah. the whole point of getting an imp. Otherwise, get a pseudo dragon and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be telepathic and all that shit. Yeah. Um, but they, your imp can be invisible too. It has invisibility. Yeah, that can... that's pretty. That's pretty dope. Yep. But it can still be hit with AOEs if it's invisible. So. Uh -huh. um, True, so I don't get it. All right, so you guys make it to the edge of the forest, and there's that path. Um, I assume you start going through it, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. We're off to see the wizard. All right, you well, head through the path. Yeah. It's very thick trees. Um, there's a few separations of trees, and this time you guys get a closer look at some things. Uh, you see very far in the distance a uh, velociraptor. It's scary. You see it's small, but you just know I'm not fucking with that that chicken dog. Um, oh, well, that, that's just how a well, big bird. How well can I study it? You can see it. You've seen it. Uh, along with a triceratops, a whole, a whole gang of triceratopses, and a gang, a herd of stegosaurus. They they cross paths. You're all afraid of that that overgrown turkey and those uh, horny cows. <laughs> bah. <laughs> Love it. Just a bunch Love of it. big lizards. Is that your justification technique? Are you like shitting in your assless chaps right now? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay, okay. These are nothing but overgrown iguana. <laughs> hey, that's kind of racist. Lurpu is like right there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. You are a very kind and gentle soul, Lurpu. I I hold our friendship in very high esteem. Well, thanks, dude. You're you're nothing like these uh uh, uh, what, uh, you, what you, what you call it? The you want me to call that one off in the distance over here? Everybody make I mean, a wisdom saving throw for me as you hear sure. the loudest roar you've ever heard in your life. Lurpu got a 12. 25. Damn. 15. 
I'm at a 20. I'm trying to roll, it won't let me. Uh, oh, I gotta find a d20. Velociraptors are a challenge rating. 24. Quarter. Mm -hmm. Anybody get under a 10? No. Nope. Okay, you'd imagine this is about a half mile off, but it is crazy how loud it was. It vibrated the ground. It is a T-Rex, but you don't see it. But you, you would guess, because you've seen one before, some of you have seen a T-Rex before on the horizon. You would guess that that's what was roaring. We should get to Valignat, like, quick. Yeah. Everyone quickens their pace. Everybody feels ridiculously quick anyway. Everybody's speed is doubled when you're within 60 feet of Lerpu. Remember Lerpu that. anyway, yep. Um, Casey's dog's probably bugging. Uh, you guys get to the edge of the forest. You hit the wall with the tunnel in it. Um, there's the door in front of you. I don't know who wants to go first. And... I can. All right. You go. Open the door. It opens. It's fine. Everything's fine with that door always. There'll never be a trap on it. You get into the <laughs> the valley. The valley of the Fey that Valignat lives in. Uh, with the elemental planar doors. Um, and you see these... <laughs> Fucking quicklings and zippy doopies and, uh, you know, uh, hoppy skippies and all these good guys from the Feywild jumping around. Uh, and you see the, the boulder, uh, not in its little resting place, but just like floating up in the sky, uh, going back and forth. Hey, dude. We're here to fix your problem. Hearing this, the boulder lowers a bit. Uh, it's steaming. It goes, Oi, oh, fuck your guys, you're here, finally. Okay, so, I know there's been bad things going on, I told you about these things, but there's something very bad right now that just happened, and I need it to stop, and I need you guys to help me with it, please. <sighs> what is it? Yeah, it's in what the fire it? elemental plane. Oh god. It's okay, it's right outside of a city. So it's not as hot in the cities as it is on the magma lakes. You're muted, Casey. It's talking to the dog. Oh. <laughs> So is your this okay still? This sounds this sounds pretty good. Uh, uh um fire's not that great, but um it's not... we're gonna help. We said we would help. Yes. Do you have a way to make us not as flammable? I don't. Um I will yes, you know. Oh give me a second. He uh he kinda he doesn't say anything. He's because he never says anything. He mentally talks to everybody. You know what I mean? He doesn't have a mouth. Uh, but you see some quicklings run over like this table and start just going, just <laughs> and the, they're mixing up things and throwing things in bags and doing stuff and all this other stuff. And then zip, 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 zap, zoop. They come up to you. Zoop. You each get a potion of fire resistance. It lasts one minute. One minute. Okay. One minute. He goes, I don't have the big ones, I'm sorry. It's uh, If you wanted to wait 24 hours for the fermentation process, I could help more, but we need this done. Okay, but uh, for the future, uh, maybe, maybe make some water-breathing potions for us before we get here, so that we have them ready? I can cast the water-breathing spell on you. He okay, does it. okay. You all have water-breathing for 24 hours. Here, this uh, <laughs> sure. is for... You. It, I didn't think it would be an issue here, but I give it to you anyway. Uh, precautions always helpful, I suppose. Yes, sure. Yes. 
Thank you kindly. Okay, any questions? Yeah, what are we fighting? Oh, don't know. Um, there's a, like, pylon of frost energy that I need destroyed. I'm sure there's something guarding it. Um, the fire giants, say, elementals, they, they can't get close to this frost. They just die. Right. Okay. You have to go and you hit it with your swords and fists. Break it, probably. I think. Oh, bongo. And my axe lights up. Yes, that's what I like. Alright. I, I, I think this sounds like it sucks for, uh, for me. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna help anyway. Yes, it's, um, you drink the potion in dire need, I guess, uh, whatever. Um, I will give you, uh, give you a, a, a type of healer. He, he casts a spell on you that just, like, puts this layer of magic over you. He goes, this helps with the immense amount of heat. Well, uh, let me get this straight. You seem like a pretty smart guy, but you gave us a potion of the fire resist, and you're helping us out with uh, the the high heat. So yes. You're asking us to attack something that is uh, high with the cold and the frost damage. Right. This and is you're it. not giving us anything to to deal with that. Is that right? You have a point. I don't have that on hand. I'm out of neck tails. I will. Do that next time. You need to go in there for me, police. Don't don't worry. I'm not judging you. I'm just pointing out. Um, yes, for sure. That'll, for that'll sure. be good for next time. And um, I mean, I could just send you in without the magic, and then you have you know a point of exhaustion well, I'm not, right away. I'm not complaining. I um, and he goes to like pat him on the back. <laughs> you, I'm way up here. Not... You can't reach. You. <laughs> That's his leg, then. It's, it's There's from... no leg. He's just floating. He's a floating oh. boulder. Steaming. You're a good guy. You you really tried on Thank this one, us. but... This, this is... But I hope I don't die. Okay, all, all of you go. You guys get picked up by a gust of wind and junted <laughs> through the fire elemental portal, um, which is bright. Casey, I will not let your character die this game, I promise. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> I mean, I have healing and through it, all that stuff, so... And I think we're going to take killed a, once you become a healer. Uh, we're going to take another break here. It's a good time for it, yes? Yes. Okay. And visual. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Y'all remember that song? Such a good song. Yep. Anyway. I remember the show. TV show. Yep. You're right. Y'all were junted into the fire elemental plank. Uh, you land on the ground. It's hard ground, but it feels like it's kind of moving. Uh, it's charred earth. You look around, everything's red. And the sky is just red, and there's clouds of black. Um, you see a city in front of you, made of obsidian. Uh, you see flaming things coming from the city, going into the city. You see, uh little methods everywhere you see uh elementals everywhere you see the city's just full and it's full of fire beings salamanders things of this such um you would all be in a lot of pain right now if you weren't shielded by this magic and you know it it's hot i mean hot Interesting. You guys ready to kick some ice? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, I don't see I, uh, any ice around here. I, I don't I don't really like this, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Fuck. Pat foggy on second, the knee and say Foggy on the knee and say It'll be okay, don't worry. Okay, thank you. You guys heading for the city? Think so. Yep. Yep. 
when you walk, it's about a quarter mile away. As you approach, you see guards, uh, fire giants, two gigantic beings with flaming beards holding big spears of a black obsidian, you would guess. They say, Halt! Who enters here? I speak back to them in giant. Hi there, uh, my name is Boggy, and these are my friends, and uh, we're looking to help you with your ice problem. It's very nice to meet you, uh, giant kin. Um, were you sent by the emergent primordial? Uh, his name's Balignat. Yes, we requested aid uh, many days ago, but we know our transmission some get it, sometimes get intercepted. Let's let's uh, let's get there so we can get out because we only got twenty four hours. Come, I lead you to our leader. He'll show you where to go. Let's go this way, guys. One of the guards escorts you guys through town. Um, the buildings are made of obsidian. Uh, it's a charred landscape of streets and rock and fire beings. If you wanted to do anything, say anything, look at anything, let me know. I'm just keeping my ears open. I also uh, can speak giant and infernal. All right. I can speak infernal and abyssal. Gotcha. I can speak common and Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> of course you can. Don't know when that'll ever come in handy. Yeah. If ever, but. So you're led to a guy. Uh, his name is. He. You see this giant, huge fire giant, bigger than all the others, like by two feet. He's got the biggest beard. He's got a big obsidian maul and he's holding it in one hand and he's got this black helmet on and glowing red eyes it's a dread helm you don't know why this guy has to wear a dread helm he seems already intimidating enough but he's wearing one he says welcome I am Frong Fidelo leader oh. of the city of obsidian I'll activate my dread helm and say I am Nephi of the uh, Great Green Forest. I like your fashion choices, Gnome. Thank you. It's good to meet you. I'm Boggy. It's nice to meet you, Boggy. I'm Lerpu. Hello, Lerpu. Hey, oh, how's it going? Hey, yo. Sup. <laughs> I try to give back what somebody gives to me. That's my thing. That's fair. That's fair. What's good? What's popping? <laughs> you guys were sent to help. Out the back of the castle. Not, not a quarter mile away. There's an ice, frigid landscape created by this big, massive, crystal-like ice structure in the middle. Guarding it is this. It's a salamander, right? But it's not a salamander. It doesn't do fire. It's an ice boy, and we don't like it. I can't even get close to that place without my arms falling off. I've had to regrow <laughs> these arms three times this week. I think you'd learn after the second time, yeah. You're right. Fool me once and all that. Okay. Sorry for your arms. Thank you. My arms uh, appreciate that. Well, we can uh, go take care of this uh, ice salamander problem for you. This thing is dangerous. It seems to be hurt by fire, but it seems to make it more angry in a very bad way. Interesting. Um, what else does it seem to like or not like? It's about it, as I can tell. I wouldn't try any cold damage on it, but... Fire hurts it, but be careful with it. Sparing! For it could kill that. you all. Hear that, Lerpu? I'm not scared. Come. I'll lead you the way. 
he leads well, don't you get out. Too close. I, I'm, I'm afraid for your arms, sir. Yes, <laughs> I'll only get a bit far out, as far as I can tell I can go. That sounds good. Hey, uh, how do you get one of those, um, wait, is obsidian considered uh, metal? No, is it? Obsidian is a gemstone. It's a from lava. It's a gemstone. It depends on like, how you define it. Yeah. Gemstone, yeah. I wouldn't call it, it it's natural. It's natural. More glass. Yeah. That's more glass. How, how Very do you get hard one to get with a, a um, obsidian uh, weapons? Do you want an obsidian weapon? We can have them crafted for you. We I, will I require it gold. Does. It takes material. Oh, that sounds that sounds good. All I'll right, what kind would money. you like? I'll club put it in order with the blacksmith. A, a quarter staff or a club. I like the sound of that. He writes it down. It's like it's going to be 500 gold, but it will be a plus one weapon. Sounds great. Did you make two? Maybe mine a little smaller? I could make a smaller one. Well, I won't personally make this. You understand that, right? I do. Okay, as long as we understand each other. That's the goal. I thought the goal was to take care of the ice lizard. The ice salamander is a very big problem. <laughs> and that is also the goal. Okay, just check it. There are multiple goals. The, there are multiple goals. This is I why communication is necessary. I absolutely it is key. Love I will put in an order for three quarter staffs of obsidian. Of varying sizes. Oh, yeah. Thank you, kind sir. My blacksmith will expect 1,500 gold. Come this way. Go. Thank you. He leads you. He gets. He doesn't get that close. He's like, it's there. You can see it moving. And you see uh, between some ice shards, this moving ice mass. So I got to ask, do you think this is, a, a, you know, a bigger plot? Uh, someone had sent us here for some reason, and uh, maybe you can give us a little bit more information? As far as I can tell, this ice crystal was put here to infest our lands with icy grossness. We don't like ice. It's obvious. Fireplace. So by whom, may I ask? We don't know. It showed up. It's been happening in the other planes too, but it hasn't gotten this bad. This oh, has wow. been here. We couldn't get close, but it's growing. And now, a fiend has appeared next to it. Not a literal fiend, obviously. That's not real bad. Okay, thank you for your information. Would you like any more information? Oh, not right now. Thank you. Uh, what about anybody else, though? Uh, I can't think of anything. Yeah, I think I'm all set. Kill the big ice lizard. I nod. If you don't have a lot of health, do not get close to that lizard. Okay. And when you say close, how close do you mean? I'd keep a 30-foot distance at least. Okay. Okay. I don't want my arms to fall off. Something yeah, what comes... made your arms fall off? That's weird. It's a fire giant thing. You wouldn't get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something comes falling from the sky and lands right in the middle of the party. It's, as far as you can tell, Lerpu, a bear totem. Um, but it's translucent, and it puts out this aura, uh, and you all get 24 temporary hit points. Nice. Oh, that's dope. That's fucking men. If you know Circle the Shepherd Druid, this is an ability from them. And it seems like maybe it was sent from Valignat. The only shitty thing is... You have to choose the temporary hit points that you want. Mm hmm. What do you mean? You take the 24 for now and get your others later. Right. <laughs> right. Druid shit. It's yeah. Druid shit. All right, guys. Um, so I have a thing. If fire bad, I have. I didn't say fire was bad, it's actually very effective. It just I'm, causes I'm bad, bad things, in a, yes. Make bad as in a, it'll ruin this thing. I have a perfectly good necklace of fireballs. We can just chunk the entire thing at it. 
<laughs> I mean, Hulk. it's your necklace. Do what you want with it. Hopefully, I'm you go first. Fire, fire make bad. Well, let me. I mean, I can just throw a this. few, but or I'm yeah. gonna say you guys are don't... 300 feet from this thing right now. Why don't you just start throwing them, you know, on your respective turns, and then when uh, when it works, it keeps working, and maybe you won't have to throw all of them. So is that the plan? Are we just going to try and nuke it and wait for it to get bad, bad? Angie, Angie? I'm pretty sure it's going to approach real quick. I was going to get right up in its face. It's at 30 feet, though. Well, I'm not scared of this thing. All right. You guys are about 300 feet up. Do you want to approach? The thing hasn't taken notice of you. 300 feet? Mm-hmm. Only we had a range, do anything at 300 feet. If only we had a ranger, we could tie a beat up. I could technically out. actually do one thing at 300 <laughs> feet. Are you going to ultra... All right, I have a sling. I don't know if it'll melt when you put a fire bead in it. I I have a plus one sling if you would rather have that. Slingshot. <laughs> you want it? I will take that. Sure. Yeah. Is it cursed? It is not cursed. Wait, I got it from pops. Wait, wait. I got it from pops. I got it from pops. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Who was DMing that game? <laughs> uh, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> I also got a wizard's hat if you want it. I'm not a wizard. Neither am I. <laughs> I see this. You're a wizard, I Harry! I see right now. I am going to activate my hat of disguise and turn into another one of him. He's a huge sized. Well, I'm a little sized one. Okay. Yeah, you kind of look like a... He's... Baby He's less lizard like and more bug like in anatomy. But he's considered an a salamander, an elemental salamander, just so you know. Cool. Well I look like a miniature version of him now. Yeah, you look like a weird bug lizard frost boy. Are you guys approaching? How close do you want to get? I mean, if we get within 240 uh, feet of it, I can attack it. That's my max range. How far can you eat those? Fi that fireball necklace. 150 feet, apparently. I'd say we technically would have a surprise round if he did that, wouldn't we? Or would... only eat one, two, my, my, just so you know, my map is only so big. So you come in at the map about 120 feet away from, from the thing. So that's when I'd like to roll initiative. So do y'all want to get within that range? Before we do, can I also beat a fireball at it? Yeah, I mean, but that, that's going to start initiative. Mm -hmm. Just as a surprise. So you'll have to let me know where you're at. Like, how far out are you when you're eating this fireball? How far we want. You can throw 150 feet, I'd say 150, 150 feet. feet. Alright. I'm good and up to have... 300 feet, and I can start Eldritch Blasting whenever you guys tell me to. Out of 120, I, I can. Alright, I'm gonna rounds. change up the... I'm gonna stream a screen. Can I have two rounds before that to cast... Actually, Shalala is a uh, bonus action, so I just need one. Um, Shalala and activate my... Oh, no, I don't want to activate the thingy yet, because temporary hit points. Never mind, just Shalala. Here's the game. Oh, sorry, I had the wrong web page open. Would you look at that? Is that <laughs> something that... It's been two hours? What? Ten back? Get out of here. Anyway, this hey, uh... is where you're at. This is the thing on top of the crystal. Hey, Nick, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you roll me 3d8s? Am I going to have to pull more resources? Yeah. <laughs> Goes around, Seven. Comes back around. Six. Seven. Five. Six. Five.
What do we got? I have no idea. Come on. Hold on. It is. I thought you. I honestly thought you would know it off the top of your head. Um. I know it's Dags and Eight. A giant badger and a panther. All right. Give me a badger. There's no badgers, dude. Just, yeah, I'll just give my library. We're gonna put forks. One fork, two fork, three fork. Where do you want them? <laughs> um, uh, 30, 30 foot increments going towards the thing. Their objective is death. Okay. All right, so well, I can only have them here. That's how, so. That's how we're starting. Yeah. All right. I'm happy with that. Is is everybody happy where they're at? We got Lerpu, Prung Gear, uh, Ezra. Who's this? Hold on, let me. Dirk, Arrow, Bulby. <laughs> These... <laughs> Are we? <laughs> You're here. Yeah, how far away are we from the thing? How many feet? 150. Okay, sure, sure, sure. So. All right, throw your beads or you're not you're not doing that. You threw that. We're starting initiative. Okay. Everybody roll initiative. And then change your Discord name, please. How did all three of us roll 11s? Yeah, 11, 11, 11. 11, 11, 11, 11. My initiative is plus 11, 11, 11, 11. two. Mine's only one. Alright. Casey? Alright, cool. Your... What, dexterity? Yeah. I have a plus three. Okay, so it's you, then me, then Ezra. Arrow, yep. hard gear, who's got better uh, dex? Uh, I got plus three. Wrong gear? Plus two. All right, so Arrow, you're first. You threw these guys. What's your turn? These guys can move. So Panther, what's the speed on the Panther? You pulled all these stats up, right? Yes, I did. I did. Panther speed is 50. Uh, Direwolf speed is 50. Giant Badger speed is 30. That's perfect. Are they dashing? Um, no. Okay. Uh, the one on the top, the Panther. furthermost, I would say dash and move like one tile out diagonally. One more, just one, one or two more. Not all the way, just like, like uh, just a little bit further. Ah, oh, fuck it, that's fine. All right. End your turn. Fireball. Do it. Thirty-two damage. Thirty-two damage. Wait, I need to. Do I need to roll the hit? No, he needs. Or... He needs to roll a dex save. Ooh. Mark a beat on. All right, that's reduced. But I assume what's the DC on the beads? Thirteen, fifteen, something like that. Um, DC on the bead, fifteen. All right. All right, and anything else? Should be good. All right, that is your turn. That moves to wrong gear. Move up thirty feet. Ranged spell attack with my circlet of blasting. All right, what are you 
what's the spell attack? Are you rolled a hit? I rolled a hit, yeah. Okay. And uh, that's an 18 total. 18 hits. And that is 66. Where are my sixes? What kind of damage is this? Fire. All right. Uh, let's see, 8, 10, 13, 19 points of damage. 19, all right. That hits harder than you thought it would. All right. Next is Salamander. It is going to come... It's going to ignore the panther. It's going to come here. And I need the dire wolf and the badger and Hurungir to make constitution saving throws. You got a 19? All right, you passed. Twenty. If it's just plus or twenty one. <clears throat> twenty one? Yep. All right. Uh wrong gear, you take twenty three cold damage. And uh the other ones do too. I'm going to use my uh, Goliath ability there to reduce damage. Okay. 23 <laughs> to the Dire Wolf and the Badger. Cold damage. And I rolled a 12 Dire... out of 12. What wait, What did the Dire Wolf and Badger roll? Uh, Badger rolled 21. I did not roll for the Dire Wolf. 14 for the Dire Wolf. Okay, 14 takes uh, 46 damage. Both gone. Okay. Uh, this thing just lets out this cold breath that just comes and hits everything in a 30-foot cone from its mouth. Uh, and it just, like, looks at everybody else and just snarls. That's its turn. Who's next? Sorry, I don't have it pulled up. I think Nothing. I am. Oh, you're right. Actually, right. it should have been Nephi before I me. With... I apologize. But you go ahead, Nephi. Okay. Um, am I within 120 feet? Yes. Okay. I will cast um cloud um around the yeah. <laughs> How big is big that? Big ice thing. It's a 20-foot radius, so if that's not... Then I will cast it around its head. Its face. So it blocks... Yeah, yeah its face. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You got it, you got it. And what kind of cloud and is it? And it lasts... It's fog cloud. Fog cloud, gotcha. Move that there. That's it. It's that so one. We can... See it, but it can't see us. All right. But that's going to stay there if it moves, yes? Yes, it can be moved with the wind, though, so. Yeah. All right, cool. Druid. Are you staying where you're at? Um, I will move. How close do I have to be to. Oh. Who, was it Lerpu that gives me 60 feet? Uh-huh. Within 60 feet. Is it, like, the start of the turn, or is it I have to be with him no, the whole 60 feet? just as long as you're feet. within 60 feet of him, you can move 60 feet. Or no, oh, you can okay. move. Okay, then I will you move. You can move 50 feet, because yours is 25. It's double. Oh, okay. Um, So, I'll move up. This way? Um. 
for like this Like straight one. up the sheet okay. of paper. <laughs> you come up yeah, to but... about here and you'll be touch you'll be walking into lava if you go any further. I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I want to make sure I'm not where I was before. Wrong gear. I, should I don't mention, know how good his memory is. There is lava covering but covered by ice sheets here. Um you'd imagine this is a better path if you wanted to go straight forward, but you could you'll be fine here as long as the ice don't break. We'll try and avoid that. All right. Next is Lerpu. All right. Bonus action or rage. Gotcha. And then <clears throat> I'm going to move up 60 feet. And I'm going to launch my Javelin of Lightning at it for my first attack. All right. That is not going to hit. That is going to be an 11. That misses. All right. And then... I'm not close enough to do any other dance. Hit it. So and I can't move anymore. Is it considered blind right now? Yeah, you have advantage. Sorry. You have oh, advantage. Oh, okay. In that case, a 14. That still misses. <sighs> okay. Could be. I still make a, make a save, though, because the lightning still comes from that area, right? Yeah, well, it, yeah. it affects anything in its yeah, range. Yeah, in its path. So. So. DC 13 deck save. Yeah, you made it. I don't know if it's half damage. Uh, let me check real quick. Yep, takes half damage. So let me roll that. He is going to take six damage. Gotcha. I rolled. <laughs> and. Yeah, I guess that is. Oh, actually, he would take seven because I get my plus two to my damage while raging. All right. And I can't move anymore. I'm not going to throw my axe. So that is my turn for now. Next up. Uh, Ezra, I believe. No, you got it backwards. It's Boggy, Dirk, then Ezra. Y'all got it backwards. Yeah. Uh, right, Boggy. Uh, so all of that is ice-covered right now, where you have the white stuff? Yeah. Can I move 30 feet? Um, I want to be on the opposite side that, uh, Nephi's on. Kind of go up that way and going towards it. You can get like I want to be within ninety feet of it if I can. How far yeah, am I? Yeah, yeah, you good. Okay, cool. I will pass one more up and yeah. tangle, which is a twenty foot square. In that same spot, um, or more towards its feet. Yeah, let's do in the same spot, this? but like okay, ten ten feet that are. It, so where are its feet actually? Here, up above it. Okay, kinda. so it's kind of like yeah. reaching out. Yeah. Um. Then let's do like yeah, let's do it around the same spot, but like uh, probably a little bit closer to its feet. Okay, gotcha. So that it's within its feet, but yeah. twenty foot square. All right. So does do I make a save now on the tangle? I don't remember. Yep. A creature in the area when you cast a spell makes a strength saving throw. Or is restrained. It's plants, so this is the only oh. thing that's shitty. Is there a size limit on the creature? Or? Nope. Um, plant. It's a creature. Blah, blah 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 blah. Yeah, it turns it into difficult terrain. A creature within the area, strength saving throw. Creature restrained by the plants can use its action to make a strength. Nope. No size. All right. Yeah. No. It's it's gonna stay there. It's restrained. Okay. Uh, to anyone who's Druid curious, power. Um, it has disadvantage on attack rolls. People have advantage on attack rolls to it. So you try to just summon some normal vines here, but what comes up is like these hot, red, weird vegetation that you're not used to, but gotta come from somewhere. That's it for me. 
All right. Next up. Was it Dirk? Dirk. All right. Let's see. Well, I think Dirk is just going to take aim and fire um, an Eldritch Blast. All right. The Salamander. Wing it. And I have advantage because it's restrained, right? Uh, because it's blinded, for I'll sure. Blind I'm not sure if restrained gives you advantage or it just stops its movement. Yeah, it's advantage on attack okay, rolls. Yeah. That plus six. All right, so the first roll is that. With advantage is all right. So twenty-one. That it. That is eight force damage. All right. And then you get your crossbow expert second attack? Yes. So. Ooh, that is a net 20. Oh, well, that hits, actually. Double the dice or roll double the dice. It's up to you. Eighteen damage. Oof. That hoided. That doid hoided doy. Alright. Is that your turn? Yes, sir. Yazra. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna save that one. So um I would like to move up uh no <laughs> to 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 uh just behind Nephi on the left. And I'm within 120, right? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to shoot off uh, six magic missiles from my wand of magic missiles. Roll damage. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, 17 force damage. 17. All right. And that's all I got. All right. That's your turn. Next up, uh, we shoot back to the top, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. That's Arrow. And your Panther. Harrington. Yes. I'm Come here. on. Sorry. Um, Been watching Community. <laughs> community's over there. Um. Fireball again. Wait. Uh, is Lerpu in the way? Would Lerpu get bopped by a Fuego Ball? Depends on where you aim it. I want to aim it for his arse. No. No? Yeah. You might get your Panther. Roll a... Flip your, flip your coin for me. Heads, you hit the Panther. Tails, you don't. Personally, I... If I can control the Panther right now, I'm just gonna send him in and bite at it. Okay. Well, then I'm, you'll definitely hit the Panther. Yeah, no, he, he, so, he'll, become, he'll become a martyr. So go ahead and make your attack with the panther first. 20. That hits. Um, three damage. All right. <laughs> now throw your fireball. It's, um, it, where it's restrained makes... It's all dexterity saving throws at disadvantage. Makes but sense. I'm assuming where it's plants, <laughs> shit's going to happen to that plant. <laughs> well, it is fire elemental plants, though, right? They're, yeah, they're fire plants. Yeah. Completely up to the DM. That. Yeah. 29. All right. It is hurt, dude. It didn't like it. It is hurting. Your pants are dead. Panther's dead. Uh, I'm gonna turn to Azra and go, Oh, that poor panther. Uh, 
Um, anything else on your turn, Arrow? No, but the the are the bag of tricks things. They're like made of yarn, aren't they? Or oh no, they're fey beings. Uh, that get turned into animals to help you. Uh, canonically, they're contracted to be like in the contractors. Yeah, yeah. But they know what they're doing. They know what they're up. They know what they signed up for. Yeah. They're like slaves. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> but they're not animals. Oh they're, my god, that's even they're worse. More like people. No, they're contractors. Yeah, they're contractors. They're they paid. Go so back to the fae. Yeah. The Feywild, Wild, though, afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. When they die, yeah, they don't even die. They, they just go home. The pain. They, yeah, they just go back. And I feel. Yeah. A it's a temp agency. Right. It is. It is. Yeah. All right. Next <laughs> up is uh, who was Runger. next? Runger. 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 Yes, I would like to move uh north uh my full speed if I can without stepping on lava. A little should be thirty ish. I mean, full speed's more than that right now because of Lerpu. Oh, so uh, well, right there. Go? I just want to. I want to. I want to make okay. sure I'm not yeah, in a uh, cone. You can. You can uh, no yeah. cone. Yeah, I mean, you could be in a cone with Lerpu currently. Uh, if it moves. Anyways, all right. Uh, guiding bolt. All right. Okay, uh, that's twenty-three to hit. That it. I uh, used a second level spell slot for that. All right. Ooh, big damage. Uh, 10, 22, 23. 23. Two fives, two uh, sixes, two. and a one. And the next attack gets advantage. Next attack gets advantage. Yes. All right. Um, is that your turn? That is my turn. This thing is bleeding. It's barely hanging on. It walks this way to get its head out of the... Or no, it can't. It needs to... It's stuck. It turns to get its head out. It can turn, at least. Where's the top? It can it? use its action to try to it get out of the thing. It can use its action, sure, yeah. It turns to get its head out of the thing, right? But its feet are still here. I can't find the turner. There it is. It has to, it's supposed to make a strength check again, or strength saving throw again on its turn. For what? It, Casey, it makes a strength saving throw on no, its turn. It, it, it can, can use an action. action to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But that's not until after you go, I think, Nephi. Right, okay. I went out of turn, but I don't know which way it was last time. Um, you're an 18. He's a 15. He went before you last time, so, so you're I'm supposed to go first. Well, I'm going before okay. again. I just kept it this way because we went this way last time. Um. Oh. Yeah. So he's going right now. Um, he's going to attack Lerpu. That's what he's going to do. That's a uh, 19 to hit. That hits. Is that a disadvantage? Disadvantage for being restrained? Yeah. Are you sure? Attack rolls against creature have advantage, and creature's attack rolls have disadvantage here That's okay awesome. um it's it's higher i rolled higher all right second one oh that's only uh 15 to hit nope third 16 to hit nope fourth 20 to hit hits okay. uh 17 to hit Hits. All so right. three hits. Three hits. Uh, you take. What's this thing's reach? Uh, it has a ten foot reach, but it's right on okay. top of him now that it's turned. Oh. No, that's fine. Um, you're taking twenty two piercing damage from its claws. So that'll be 11. You take uh, 13 piercing damage from its mouth and 7. 4 cold damage. And 2. Is that all you got? That is all it's got. <laughs> it's his turn. 
right, can I get within 30 feet of it? Yes. Oh, you know, stepping in lava. <laughs> yeah, you can. I would like to get within 30 feet of it. You are. And chuck one of my plus one returning javelins at it. All right, make an attack roll. Scream. Don't hurt my friends! They're panthers. Can't remember what the other animals were, so. <laughs> oh, God. Um, eight. Eight misses. I apologize. Yeah, it does. <laughs> did you did you use advantage? You have advantage. Yeah. I did not use advantage. You have Thank advantage. You. Oh, 21. That oh. is. All right. How much okay. damage? Three. Three damage. Three. It goes, it sticks in him. He goes, ah! It just comes out. It feels like he did one damage and then two on the exit. Hmm. All right. Anything else? I remember if I have a healing that's a bonus action. It'd be healing word. Okay, then I will cast healing word on LARPU. Which is... Uh, so, points of healing to Larpu. How many? How I missed much? what you said. And that's eight. 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 Cool. Thank you. That's all right. All. And that brings us to Larpu. All right. I'm going to move right up within striking distance of this yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. With my bonus action, I flip my elemental coin and i say more fire bro All right and i'll have advantage on this on my attacks right yes you can entangle all right a 27 to hit yeah how do you want to do this man let me <laughs> you sure i'm gonna kill it yes i was yeah okay it's got five health all right, so I come up and I just uppercut this thing right in the jaw with my axe. You do. You and shove I... it in its jaw. And I'm trying to think of something quippy to say. We just kicked your eyes, dude. Eyes <laughs> to meet you. Yeah. It, it cries. I like that better. Eyes to meet you. <laughs> it cries frozen tears as its head just melts away. And then I am taking all of my movement just in case to get up. Well, actually, I'm going to stay put. All right. For a reason. All right. Uh, we're out of combat. Um, this thing is pulsing. Not any quicker than it was when you got here, but it's pulsing. And we're out of combat. You have the I body. I up for you, Larpu. <laughs> the body of that uh, guy's still there, but his head was melted away. Rip head. So no head? No head. I melted its head. Damn, no head. So no head. <laughs> no head. <laughs> <laughs> so we think that crystal's the thing bringing these ice things here? Because we could just crush that thing to pieces. Yeah, I think I remember somebody saying about getting rid of them crystals. Yeah, I want to run up and give it a whack with my axe. So I started blasting. <laughs> I think your axe is the perfect thing to whap it with, bro. Um, So yeah, you run up. Anybody else go up there with him? Yeah, I have some Eldritch Blast that I want to let out. Alright. Put up, put up. I'm going to try no. off my new sling. <laughs> Alright, you guys are throwing ranged attacks at it. Lurpu runs up with his axe and just whoosh, make an attack roll for me, Lurpu. Alright. That is going to be a 21. How much damage do you do to it? 
Uh, let me roll and I'll see what I get here. Sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. Uh, just axe or fire too? Ah, uh, the axe fire damage would have been seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, so you do more fire than you thought, and uh, as you do it, it cracks and then starts to melt at the crack. Um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw so you can see it coming. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you gonna take half damage on this? As this thing explodes. And then I'll half the half damage, right? <laughs> if, yeah, you're still raging, yes. That's 32, so half that and half it again. 16, so 8. 8. You take 8 frost damage as this thing explodes. As it does, all of the ice around you is sucked into the area of the explosion and implodes and disappears. Uh, and Harungir, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Uh, 16 plus 2 is an 18. Okay. Um, you fall into lava, but you're able to pull yourself out real quick. Um, but you still take 14 fire damage. That gets through the uh, the bonus. <laughs> okay. And you guys take a minute to... You feel like... I forgot about the bonus. Larpoo, did you even need those healing points that I gave you? No, not really. <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> I, with the temporary hit points, I had 101, so... Whoa! Dang with the temporary dude. hit points, I have 57. <laughs> no way, we had temporary hit points. 34! Yep. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm 50, still a level 2. Five. Yeah. Level 3! It's a good thing you're a healer, then, Nephi. <laughs> Lurper's level 7. Or 6? Level 6. 6. six. Yeah, but it, it's where I took tough at level 4. Mm-hmm. Is what bolstered my hit points up big time. And then I get automatically get 10 every level because of my con yeah. and having tough. Or 12 every level. This uh, just wasn't as uh, bad as I thought it was going to be. And uh, there's some cool plant life in this world, I'd say. You see a, a chunk of one of those vines sitting there if you wanted to pick it up. Well, it's technically magical. I don't know if it like still lasts. Oh, it's still there. Uh, okay. it, it seems like you more forced with magic something to grow as opposed to cool. creating something. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, go over and you know it's tap hot. it with my finger before yeah, yeah before like, grasping it'll kind of be like hmm does it actually it doesn't hurt? Feel, it doesn't feel like it would burn anything in your bag, but it's definitely warm. It might uh, help with fermentation. That's good. I put it right next to the bread. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see a fire giant doing this in the distance. Like back towards the castle. You know, his arms won't fall off if he comes over here now, but sure. Okay. Hey! Ascended Eldred Blast it's me! straight up. Yeah, he sends a fireball straight up. It explodes <laughs> in the sky. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, I remember when that got us arrested once. Anyways. Come! Okay. If we should go over there, it looks like he's got something to say. Yep. We got our new quarterstaffs are ready? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't have 500 gold, so it's going to be Did you do it? Was... Oh, it, Did it. It, is, it is done. It seems to be gone. Yeah, in about 12 seconds. Crazy. This is yeah, good for me! Your arms are still there, yeah. My arms! Can you see how big they are? They're still here. Ignore your goal? blacksmithy cloths. I will give you your weapons for free. Would you guys also like some? 
You it's three, quarter funny. staffs. He hands a small quarter staff, a medium quarter staff, and a big quarter staff out to you three. <laughs> I mean, if you're Wait. handing stuff out, I'll always take free stuff. Would you like a weapon made of obs the finest obsidian? Uh, yeah, sure. This was freshly forged. Thank, thank you, sir. This is uh, this is great stuff. What kind Your of weapon? Your enthusiasm do you need? is great. Uh, something simple. Simple. Anything simple. Scimitar. He Perfect. City and scimitar. That's that's emo as hell. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, you have a fire axe already. Yeah. Would you like another one? I would love another one. All right, here, fire axe. He gives you an axe. It. It's it's not it's a plus one obsidian axe, uh, but it's on fire just always. If the fire doesn't burn unless you're attacking, like okay. as you go to swing it, the fire burns, but it's still always burning. It's like an ever flame. Uh so it's Todoroki's dad from <laughs> yeah. my hero. Yep. <laughs> and it's a battle axe. Sweet. Cowboy. Yeah. I have no guns. Get some spurs. Some That's... sitting spurs. <laughs> Your boots uh, seem fancy enough as it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can take a dagger. I don't want to use those. I'll get you a dagger. He hands you a dagger. Do you use uh, ammunition with those it's guns? plus one dagger. Yeah, I do. Are, are all of our weapons plus one? Yes. Okay, cool. Wonder, Thank you. I wonder if you could make those obsidian things into any sort of ammunition that would fit in your gun. I, I don't know how this uh, propulsion system works. It's powder? Weird. I, I don't, don't like it. It's this thing called magic, and you just it does things. I'll give him a dagger. He gives you a dagger. I'm fine with a dagger. I usually just shoot Eldritch Blasts out of these things. Not actual bullets. You can all make your weapons do fire once. Like, once ever? 2d6, once per day. Oh, per day, got it. Nice! <laughs> I never get within 50 feet of anybody, but sweet. Big man. Does it shoot fire, or do I hit someone and it gets fire? No, Quarter you stand. have to hit. Okay. Melee. Hey. Giant kin. Got it. Yes, fire giant. I give you this helmet. He puts a. I'll take this helmet. He puts a obsidian helmet on your head. It says this. Who is it? This helmet to uh, no. Harungir. Yep. This helmet protects you from the likes of me. The likes of you? Resistance to the flames. Do you make full armor? I could. It would take time. It would take money. This helmet requires attunement. And it provides resistance to fire. And one to your AC. Fantastic. He finger guns it. Finger gun him back. <laughs> Double finger gun. Thank you. Many appreciations are given here today. You're welcome back in our city to shop up our wares. But I now like you. you're you're pretty you're pretty cool. I appreciate it. Now you must go. Hi, shaman. Teleport them. You see a, you, a an old fire giant hold up a staff and go. <laughs> it's like a column of fire comes and surrounds you guys, and you get whisked back to Valley like that. So, oh, how hell did it go there? Well, we all came back, so... Yeah, it's pretty good, honestly. We did well. shitloads of damage to it, and it went poof. 
Yes, you guys seem to have done a very good job, yes? Fancy black weapons, I see you. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah! Got a new quarter staff! Fits the aesthetic. I give you each a diamond here. A uh, thousand gold diamond appears Ooh, nice. in front of you. Thank you very much. This I, is uh, for helping me. You there! Emo one. Yeah. Have your hit points back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Emo one. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I had the same thing happen to me. Could you help me out? Oh, uh, this would deal was not discussed. Next mission. Ah. Next I mission. Help you out. How? Fair enough. You guys are super tight for doing this. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, one last thing, bro. Yes. Could you tell me if this belt that I've got is cursed? And if totally it is, cursed. could you? Oh my God! Look at it. Can you remove the curse? Just a radiating curse. Uh, I couldn't, but I know a guy who could. Who's that? Uh, his name's Wajtik. Wajtik. Wojtek. Wajtik. Wojtik. I know him through association of uh, my dad. What do you know about him? Can you, um... Who's your dad? Have you met my dad? Maybe. His name is Tig. He runs a tavern on top of the plateau. Oh, no. Good dad. Okay. Jin. Yes. Do you know how to get in contact with Wojtek? No. You could probably ask my dad. <laughs> It'll probably be a little while before they get the chance to talk to yes, you. Yes, the mountain though. is very inaccessible at the moment. Don't try to go there until, you know, you see a sign that says, hey, you can go to the mountain now. Sponsored by Dave. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, got it. <laughs> I guess that would probably be uh, po posted somewhere where we could see, huh? Yes. Uh... Ah. Yeah. Yeah, once this Dave guy's got his shit together. <laughs> yes. Oh, what this the is fuck, the way. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I, I need to track myself down. Come on, I need you to stab. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Who's uh, Dave? You, you can, uh, <laughs> teleport to hell with your fancy shittith man. Yes. Yeah. Been there before with him, so. There you go. He's <laughs> there. Go, go find him and do a dance on him. Wojtek, I gotta remember that name. Wojtek. <laughs> Lurper anyway. just scribbles some word, something down where he can't really read or write. He just, he'll know it says Wojtek though. Enjoy your diamonds. Your uh, monkey and squirrel and two whips have been having a wonderful time with the fairies, and they're over there all dressed up in makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Steve is so cute. Yes, uh, Steve, he likes this. Oh, George, and... you look great. Yes, this OJ George, looks... he likes this too. OJ looks like he wants to kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> George does not thing, like this. With those gloves, he could never. <laughs> I want to believe Steve just, like, does whatever. Like, Steve does not care. I realize he's an imp and, like, feelings are minimal, but I feel like he's just like, okay. Steve poops. Yeah, yeah. OJ catches it. <laughs> it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I so will really summon you via like... another person later. Sounds good. Alright. Bubble B. This makes me feel a little bit like I was just used as a messenger, but I'm okay with it. Yes, I was going to ask, would you like to go back to your swamp? I don't know. I, I kind of like kind of like this area for a bit. Can I go back later? Yes. Anytime. I mean, oh man, you got summoned by a nice person. The fuck is this? For real, I don't know. I would never bring someone here against their will and not give them a way back. Like, you could I... for sure go back, man. I kind of miss the leeches, but I bet this place has leeches. You want the leech? Can I have a leech? A leech appears attached already to your arm, about that big. 
That's pretty awesome. That looks like a, a one-star leech. Yes, would you like to keep it? It's a friend of yours now. Oh, yes, please. There you go. Dude, that's some series of unfortunate events level big-ass leech. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just that's a memory. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, I teleport you away now. Where to? Um, you know, I'll, I'll go chill at West Nowhere. Second dome, dome number two. I'll go back to Aroni. I'll go to West Nowhere with you, Ezra. That's yeah, my brother. Yeah, we gotta go help him out. He's taken on too much responsibility, and that's probably not good for his little head, you know? Okay, right tree, West Nowhere, left tree, Aroni. You guys go. Go, Aaron. E. And for some reason. You haven't even questioned the people at West Nowhere. You don't know what they know. They were all inside <laughs> of Soul Coins. They were all inside of Soul Coins. Yeah, that's 200 people that Holy sold shit, their soul. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is wrong with no, me? they were all innocent people, remember? Yeah, but. Okay. They didn't get but, to choose to sell But they might know things, because that's 200 people. Yeah. They might, they might, they might know this Woj Tech guy. <laughs> it's somewhere you diamonds. haven't been yet. Hey, if you need sure. to crush those diamonds, there's a cool jeweler in the in the area. Have you met him? A jeweler? He's a jeweler. He's super cool. <laughs> Just look yeah? for the jeweler's house in the head sometime. some time. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Later. Oh, now, now I feel like you you just want us to go to the jeweler's house. <laughs> Never know. Unless anybody wants to do anything else, I'm going to end the, sh the video. Oh, look at the perfect timing we got on the clock right now. Mm, 30 we hours. We got two minutes. We Where's Ruggie? Three hours. Let's start another war. <laughs> Let's kill Benny 2.0. Yeah. What's, What's the dumbest God? thing we can do in two minutes? <laughs> oh, the you and I can come up with something. We pause in two minutes. We should just say the name of the of the guy that we shouldn't say the name of because he put because... a nipple on YouTube. Man, nipple on YouTube. We just damaged it in two minutes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Nice. Yeah.